for the cornerback, number 37, Lester Hayes, and number 22, Mike Haynes. The Redskins' wide receivers, Charlie Brown and Art Monk, became their reluctant partners in a demanding dance that would affect every phase of the Raider defense. and run, and the coverage by Hayes and Haynes was so intimidating that neither Brown nor Monk caught a single pass in the first half. The ability of the cornerback to single cover the Redskins' two best receivers relieved the Raider linebackers of certain pass coverage responsibilities. So it'll be third and 16. The Redskins operate from their own 24. Joe Washington in the backfield. That's Jim Quinto who goes in motion. And Heisman tries to roll out again. This time he's out there. Look at Heisman for Brown. Nothing doing. And no contact and no penalty. And Charlie Brown is really upset. He thought somebody hit him from behind. He thought it was Lester Hayes. Well, Lester Hayes was man to man on him. That's who he turned around. Charlie Brown turned around to Lester Hayes. Mr. He said, hey, I had good coverage on that one. Let's watch this matchup. Here comes Brown. Now, he's going to start out here. He's going to do a little delay. Lester didn't go for it. He stayed right with him. Lester's watching the ball. Starts to the inside. I don't know. Maybe that left hand was up in here. That's what Charlie Brown did. They throw on. There they go. If he has time, it's Hendricks. Hendricks just couldn't move. Ball batted in the air at the last second intended for Brown. And now the flag goes down. It's called against Lester Hayes. I think it's safe to say that Lester doesn't, doesn't like the call. Lester even took his helmet off to argue. And they relax a little, and that's really not a bad time to do it. Redskins out quickly. First and 10, they're on 30. John Riggins back in the game. They don't get something going reasonably quickly. We won't see much more of Riggins. Heisman fakes to him, going on first down. Throw for Charlie Brown, his first catch of the day. Charlie Brown had been shut out until then. 23-yard pickup. His first catch of the day. Here it is. Well, they're probably talking about that at halftime and saying, look, we have to get the ball to Charlie Brown. We see there Mike Haynes on him. We see he's on him man to man. He was tight coverage. Charlie makes a good move right there. A heck of a throw by Theismann. I don't know that Mike Haynes got up. Haynes is coming off the field. Well, you know, he stayed down there for a while. He looked like he was a little groggy, and they've replaced him now. Ted Watts has taken his place. Redskins really went to work on Watts the first time they met. Let's see if they come back with it. Weisman knows he's not, not loosened up. Yep, they give to Riggins. Riggins over the right side to about the 42. Reggie Kinlaw made the stop. Bob Nelson helped out. Let's go back one more play and see if we can figure out what happened to Haynes. And here he comes back in the game. Well, he's okay now, but I think, I think he just went down. Now watch him right here at the end of the tackle. Charlie Brown comes on him, and it looked like Haynes hit his head on the turf. Just stunned him a minute because he's back in. Point. Redskins possession. Jensen's block punt. Then they punt it, and they missed a field goal. Punted twice more. Then they got a 24-yard field goal from Mosley. The interception. Squirex for the touchdown. And then finally the touchdown. What a bad day for the Redskins special teams. They had a blocked punt, blocked extra point. Monk, twirls in motion. Lee Flicker coming. The 
nobody open. Finally get it out to Wiggins. And he slips down at about the 32. Rod Martin got those hands on him. Tell you, the Raiders were not fooled. They had everyone covered deep. The Redskins had two deep receivers, and they were just covered like a blanket. I'll tell you, you know, two guys that are doing an outstanding job are Lester Hayes and Mike Haynes. They sure they are. Uh, Charlie Brown has caught one pass all day. Art Monk, the other wide receiver, has yet to catch a pass. And really, they haven't given him anything down the middle either, which speaks well for McElroy. Joe Washington in the game. Didier comes out wide to the left. Receiver. Ball just sailed high over his head. It's like Joe Theismann's getting a little frustrated here. You know, you try everything, you try running, passing to different people, and you get that coverage, that Raider coverage is like a blanket. There are those signals that go into Theismann. One set doesn't mean anything. Well, the one that does was a maroon coat, jacket, that's Don Moreau. Come on, well, Zeta says, I love this stuff. Oh, wow. Super Bowl leads victory. Raiders with a four-man front. Third and nine. Heisman going deep. Intended for Monk. Monk broke inside, but there's a flag down. Heisman led him to the outside. It's a holding penalty against the Redskins. I think we ought to look. Sometimes you don't look at the coverage if the ball's not thrown there. But watch, Art Monk is yet to catch a pass. Watch why. Lester Hayes is on him. He's on him like a, like a blanket. He hits him there, hits him. Look, Art Monk just stopped. The ball was thrown over. I'll tell you, Joe Theismann's frustrated, but so are his receivers. They just can't get open. That's where he turned it on. Redskins first down. This is Art Monk's first catch of the day. Dan McElroy stopped it. Lester Hayes is really upset. He wanted a shutout. He knew that. I think he may have slipped a little on that one. He looked like he went down because when Munt caught the ball, Lester Hayes was down in front of him. Let's watch it here. Here's Munt. He's going to come down towards us now. He'll run an inside pattern. Now watch as he makes a little move right there. See, Lester Hayes falls right there. Boom, the ball's there. The safety Dan McElroy gets over and makes a tackle. First down yard punt by guy, no return. 35 to 9, the Raiders lead. 7-14 left to play. Pat Summerall and John Madden, 35 to 9 the score. The Raiders leading the Redskins. The Redskins start from their own 17-yard line. Tyson goes to work. Charlie Brown in front of Lester Hayes this time. 55 Matt Millen was over there talking to Charlie Brown. They say he was something. Rich Mallott, linebacker of the Redskins, played in college with Matt Millen, and he was telling us that, that, that when he played, he wore one t shirt all year, yellow. So it kept getting yellower and yellower yeah. as the year went on. It was not yellow when he first put it on. It was the only shirt he wore. That's my kind of guy, huh? One shirt, that's all you need. On first down, Theismann, chased by Howie Long. Gets it to Joe Washington this time, and Joe gets about five. Greg Townsend came over to help out. Along with Jack Squirek. Think about Jeff Barnes and Jack Squirek being backup linebackers. Raiders pretty deep in that spot. Floor is really is impressive with his demeanor. Very calm. The first quarterback the Raiders ever had, right? Well, I'll tell you, you know, he was a great quarterback, and he was a heck of an assistant because of that calmness and those same traits make him one of the best coaches in the game today. Picked off by Haynes, intended for Monk. Typical of the kind of game he's had and the frustration size. Second interception of the day. 
Jack Squire it really put a rush on time. I think, like you said, I think that did typify the whole day. Tight coverage, man-to-man -man coverage. Wherever he goes, I go. Watch, he comes off, he tries to make a move there. Doesn't do anything to Mike Haynes. He's right there, step for step. Look, step for step with him. Ball goes up, he goes up, gets the interception. I don't know that I've ever seen such coverage on wide receivers as we've seen today. I would agree with you. Things that you said at the beginning of the show that the Redskins felt they had to do. That was run the football. I think the Raiders thought that same thing and said there's no way they're going to because they've not only been on them against on the run, but they've been on them anything they've tried today. This is a well-prepared Raider defense. Nice been looking. Has Charlie Brown. Brown chased down by Ben McElroy and Mike Haynes. 60 yards. Simon to Brown. Charlie got Mike Haynes on that one. Watch him here. He does a move right here. Gets the push. He's looking here. He gets a step on him. Haynes is looking back. Good throw by Theisman. Charlie Brown would have had a touchdown except the weak safety Van McElroy gets over here to make the play right at the end. Like both of them did. Hey, Charlie Brown staying in there, though. It's been a tough day for him, but he's hanging in there. Two receptions for 83 yards. Redskin first down at the Raider 12. 9.26 left to play. They got to go to work in a hurry. Set Joe Washington up on the right side with no running back. Eisman fires across the middle incomplete. He had a man, Art Monk. Would have been only about a four-yard gain. And McElroy on the cover. Heisman has had a frustrating day. I think a lot of it starts again, you know, without being able to run. Now, whether John Riggins, you know, that that cold that he had, that congestion, whether that bothered him or not, or whether it's just all this Raider defense, they just could never establish that run. Mr. Hayes has a cramp. Just saw him a minute ago trying to loosen it up. Yellow 31! Yellow 31! Mark May dropped off the line too quickly. Number 73. No, sir. 73 offense. It's been the kind of a day it is. All day. 9.04 left to play. Mark May. The two big, huge guards, the Redskins. Probably we have John seen the last of John Riggins, and that's one of the things that the Raiders knew they had to do, to shut down Riggins. Not many people have been able to do it, but he's only had 64 yards and 26 carries today. Looking for Didier. Can't do it. McElroy was coming over to help out Mike Davis. You could see him moving in that direction before the ball was snapped. That'll make it third down. Penalty against the Raiders. That's an unnecessary roughness. Looks like the flag is in the Redskin backfield. I wonder if that was against the quarterback, roughing the quarterback. Personal foul, 61 defense, a late hit on the quarterback. First down. That would be Dave Stahl, number 61. It's first down, and that makes it first and goal from the eight. Nine minutes exactly left to play.
Hits him from behind and knocks the ball out. Watch him. You see Davis back there? Look, he starts to sneak up, starts to sneak up. Boom, here he comes. They're blocking the inside. No one blocks Davis. Feisman doesn't see him, hear him, or feel him. Now it's too late and the ball's out of there. And the Raiders recover and take over in good shape. Feisman never saw Davis coming. Didn't hear him coming either. And Joe Gibbs, it's been a very long day. There's his reaction. Nothing has gone right. The Raiders said we have to take care of those Redskin wide receivers and shut down the run. And they've done them both. They've also sacked Thysman five times and Plunkett.